Hello everybody, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV and look where we are. We're the home of Borussia Dortmund, the Champions League winners in 1997. We're here at the Signal Iduna Park and I'm here with Carl, I'm here with Sam. It's the calm before the storm, Carl, and it feels very, very weird actually being so close to where Newcastle are going to be playing tomorrow. What's your first impressions of the ground itself? Yeah, it's, it's very um, it's vast, isn't it? I think... Um we just mentioned about being some iconic grounds in Europe, and this is definitely one of them. Being here is is mental. Said on the way over, you know, two years ago we stood outside the Molyneux, thinking that everything was over, and now we're stood outside of uh, Dortmund's ground, waiting to play them in the Champions League tomorrow. It's it's mental, and it is so lovely and calm here. It's really strange, isn't it? It's eerily quiet. Um, it's a Monday. It feels like a Sunday, but uh, yeah, excited, mate. Yeah. Excited. Yeah, very excited. If you can leave, you can actually just point the camera just there. That is where the away fans are going to be tomorrow. All just under 4,000 Newcastle fans that are going to be in the away end, shall we say, are going to be in that little section there. Um, Sam, you can't help but be impressed by the stadium, the football club, you know, Borussia Dortmund as a whole. I think it's one football club you respect immensely with everything in terms of their traditions and the history of the football club. But we have to remember it's a really, really important football game tomorrow. And... Where can Newcastle, I suppose, exploit Dortmund's weaknesses from when you look at the game from Dortmund versus Newcastle at St James's a couple of weeks ago? Uh, take our chances. We need to make more from out wide and take more control of the midfield. We've struggled to break them down at St James's, which surprised a lot of people. Um, OK, they, they got battered at the weekend by Bayern Munich, but they're still a very, very good side. It's deceptively big, this stadium. It doesn't look that big when you look up to it. But then when you're here, it's, you realise it's absolutely ginormous. Um, but yeah, it's going to be tough. We're dropping like flies in the squad. We need the international break to come to get more bodies fit again. So it's going to be tough today. Obviously, we are, with Jacob Murphy injured, we had the luxury of bringing on Matt Ritchie at the weekend. He's not in the Champions League squad. So it's going to be a tough old slog for Miggy and Gordon um, tomorrow night. Hopefully we've got enough energy, enough gas in the tank to to at least get a bit of a result here. Because if we are going to have to quali if we are going to qualify from the group, I should say now, we need to get something here. We certainly do. When you look at it and look at the table, obviously Newcastle sit in third with four points. Dortmund have four points. Paris Saint Germain top with six. Milan with two, and of course PSG play Milan a little bit later on after Dortmund versus Newcastle. So they'll know the result of this game for, if terms of a Paris Saint Germain or an AC Milan fan, but. Sam's right, we are dropping their flies. Does the team pick itself tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. I don't think there's any kind of other way to, to navigate what's going on, unfortunately. Um, I think this is probably our most difficult game. But also, even I think most Newcastle fans are almost looking at this as a foregone conclusion at the moment. Lots of us are saying, have we got a chance? I think we have. I think we have, but it's all going to be dependent on how we react to that atmosphere tomorrow. Because none of us know... We're expecting a huge atmosphere, but we don't know how different it's going to be. Obviously, we're used to what we are at St James's, but uh, yeah, in terms of the team that's going to be picked, it's I don't think there's any way to navigate that. No, I think it's you know we can pretty much name the team. I think it's the same goalkeeper, the same back four that we've normally seen. Obviously, the only thing you would probably argue is well, not argue, but Dan Burns' fitness anyhow hasn't done his press conference, so that's obviously one that no, you're going to have to keep your eye on. That's not, that's not an issue. I think we saw from Saturday Trippier, the left back, and Livermento. Do you know that's, that's that's absolutely no problem whatsoever. Um, you might see Lewis Hall get a run out on the wing, um, not wing back, but on the wing, just to kind of save some legs for for Saturday. Of course, Bruno's suspended for Saturday, so he's going to play 90 minutes. Um, what will he do with Willock? He's building up full fitness very, very nicely indeed. Played a key part in the winning goal against Arsenal, his former club. Um, Would you start Willock? Instead of who, though, that's the thing. I, th I think it disrupts the balance a bit. I mean, it, he will start on Saturday at Bournemouth. For now, I think he, he, he can bring a big impact off the bench tomorrow because you'll probably have to take Joe Linton off around 60 minutes and then Willock will come on. Or, or uh, maybe Gordon or Wilson. Or th there's, so, there's so many variables, isn't there? It'll probably be Wilson, in fact, and then do what Howe did on, uh, on Saturday, Gordon up top and then Joe Linton out on the wing. And Willock and Joe Linton on that left-hand side link up really, really nicely. Um, so we'll see that um, probably in the last half an hour of tomorrow's game. But 
one thing that has to be mindful, like these these big Champions League away days, as we saw from Milan, they're huge occasions, and we can't let the occasion get to us like we did with a bit with the cup final. It took us a long time to get going in Milan, so we can't afford to let the game pass us by. We need to we need to start quickly and put the the Dortmund back four under under pressure because. Whilst they changed their midfield and their attack a bit against Bayern, the defence remained pretty much the same as when they played at St James's, and I'd expect a similar defence of theirs tomorrow too. We need to put them under pressure. They've just conceded four goals at home, so a good start, a fast-paced start to put them under pressure early is, is key for me. I was just Go on, Carl. Say, I think um, I'm, I, the one thing I'm glad is that this has come at least second, if not the the, the last away game, um, because I think had we've come here first away game, I think we'd have got absolutely pumped, just solely for the fact that coming here and realising how football orientated this city is. Like, we've got off the at the airport, which was what six, seven miles away from we are where we are. Everybody's wheelie bin is painted black and yellow. Like everything in Dortmund it revolves around Bruce. Flags in the garden, wasn't there? So I think the atmosphere is going to be huge, and I think we've got a little bit of a taste from Milan. So I, you'd like to think that we can maybe um, stand up to it, but it's definitely going to be difficult. Definitely. It's going to be a huge game. Look, I, I would say it's it's don't lose if you can avoid losing. It gives you it gives you a chance at the last two games. Dortmund's going to be tough, of course it is. They're one of the strongest teams in Germany. But this is the Champions League. You know, is, it no, no, is, it, is it kind of like the old cliche of, is it now knockout football? I, I think it's nearly at that stage. I don't think it's quite at that stage. I think if we lose tomorrow, it pretty much is. I think you'd have to win the last two to, to guarantee it. Because I think if we beat Milan at home, I would say Europa League's pretty much secured. But obviously, we're not aiming for that. We're aiming for progression in this competition, the Premier competition. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it's a big, big game this because the home defeat was really disappointing, and we need to come back. We need to come back in this competition with a big performance because it's only that that poor loss at home is the only blot on the copybook between these two international breaks. Yeah, certainly, and that is the only defeat, as, as Sam rightly says. Um, prediction for tomorrow: two-two draw. Sam, I went one-one. I think Newcastle United a duo win. Look. Away from home in the Champions That's League. not what he said earlier. I'm so glad you said I haven't got the bottle to say that, to be honest. I've got a feeling if I say that, it won't happen. I think Newcastle United are due a win. And away from home in the Champions League. We've had a bit of that under Bobby. We've had a bit of that under Daglish. Now, can we get that under Eddie Howe in this Newcastle United team? Do you a magical night in, in Dortmund, you reckon? I th honestly, I think it could be one of those one of those nights we go we there for Dortmund away. I've had a few with them, haven't we, so far. <laughs> Certainly. Say it quietly. Newcastle are going to sneak a two-one away win. Miggy to get involved with the goal scoring act. But yeah, like I say, look at the size of this stadium. It's absolutely huge. I'm going to come out with shots because it is absolutely amazing. It's huge. It's bigger than me, mate. It's big. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And Newcastle United are going to be entering that ground tomorrow night. It's <laughs> Sam's modelling it very well but yeah get your comments in get your predictions in because this is the Champions League and this is Newcastle United in all its glory like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV and we'll see you all very soon